From fragile wood and cloth biplanes to supersonic stealth fighters, the evolution of air combat has been nothing short of extraordinary. Each era pushed the limits of speed, firepower and technology, reshaping the battlefield and redefining air dominance. From high-speed dogfights to undetectable stealth bombers, they've shaped the way wars are fought. But how did we go from slow wooden biplanes to hypersonic aircraft that travel faster than a bullet? The journey begins in World War I. At the start of World War I, airplanes were unarmed. They were only used for reconnaissance, spying on enemy positions from above. But pilots quickly realized something. If they carried weapons, they could fight in the skies. Pilots literally shot at each other with handguns in mid-air, but it wouldn't stay that way for long. In 1915, the Germans introduced the Fokker Eindecker, the first plane with machine guns that could fire through the propeller without hitting the blades. Suddenly, the skies became the deadliest battlefield in history. Pilots like the infamous Red Baron became legends, scoring dozens of kills in intense, close-range dogfights. But while World War I gave birth to air combat, the next war would redefine it completely. By the time World War II erupted, aircraft technology had advanced dramatically. Fighters were now faster, deadlier, and armed with high-powered cannons. The Messerschmitt 262 was a game-changer. With speeds nearly twice that of Allied fighters, it was a nightmare to defend against. But Germany was running out of resources, and it came too late to change the course of the war. World War II saw the birth of strategic air power. Dogfights raged over Europe and the Pacific, as control of the skies became the key to victory. Aircraft carriers turned naval battles into aerial duels, while heavy bombers like the B-17 Flying Fortress reshaped warfare with devastating bombing campaigns. The war had accelerated technological advancements at an unprecedented rate. Propeller-driven fighters evolved into faster, more maneuverable machines, while the introduction of jet-powered aircraft marked a new era in air combat. With the war's end, aviation technology did not slow down. Instead, it paved the way for the Cold War arms race, pushing nations to develop more powerful jets, better radar systems, and advanced weaponry. The lessons learned from World War II would shape not only military aviation, but also the growth of commercial aviation, as the world began to explore the possibilities of faster, safer air travel. The world had entered the jet age. Propellers were gone, replaced by roaring jet engines capable of breaking the sound barrier. The Cold War sparked a new arms race in the skies. As the world's superpowers developed advanced jet technology, the balance of power hinged on air dominance. Aircraft like the MiG-15 and the F-86 Sabre clashed over Korea, proving that the future of warfare was no longer in propellers, but in high-speed jets that could break the sound barrier. Yet, as the Cold War heated up, new threats emerged. Missiles, radar, and stealth technology began to take center stage. By the Vietnam War, the US introduced the F-4 Phantom, a powerful multi-role fighter with advanced radar and missiles. However, it lacked an onboard gun, a critical oversight that left American pilots vulnerable in close combat. This highlighted a key lesson of the Cold War. While technology advanced, the basics of air combat, maneuverability and reflexes, remained essential. As jets evolved, the skill of the pilot behind the controls remained irreplaceable. Even in the age of high-tech warfare, the Cold War pushed innovations like supersonic speeds, stealth technology and precision weapons as they became the cornerstone of military aviation. But it wasn't just about technology. It was about maintaining air superiority and ensuring that pilots were equipped with the tools and training to handle an increasingly complex and dangerous aerial battlefield. The Cold War forever reshaped the future of aviation. Stealth changed everything. 
No longer did jets need to outrun enemy missiles. Now, they could simply disappear. The F-117 Nighthawk was the world's first operational stealth aircraft, designed to slip past enemy defenses unnoticed. Its faceted shape and radar-absorbing material made it nearly invisible to detection, allowing it to strike deep into enemy territory without warning. It proved its worth in conflicts like the Gulf War, where it took out key targets with pinpoint accuracy. Though it looked more like a spacecraft than a fighter, the Nighthawk changed modern air warfare forever, proving that stealth was the key to survival in the modern battlefield. Then came the F-22 Raptor, the first true fifth-generation fighter and an unmatched force in the sky. Combining stealth, blistering speed, and extreme agility, it can track, target, and eliminate threats before they even see it coming. Unlike previous jets, the Raptor can supercruise, flying at supersonic speeds without using afterburners, making it faster and deadlier than anything before it. But technology never stops evolving. The F-35 Lightning is more than just a fighter. It's a flying command center. Designed for versatility, it comes in three variants. One for conventional runways, one for aircraft carriers, and one with vertical takeoff capability. Its advanced sensor fusion gives pilots a complete view of the battlefield, sharing data with ground and air forces in real time. From the fragile biplanes of World War I to AI-driven jets, aviation has evolved at an astonishing pace. In World War I, pilots engaged in close-range dogfights with slow, fabric-covered planes. But by World War II, aircraft had become faster, deadlier, and more advanced. Fighters like the P-51 Mustang, Spitfire, and Messerschmitt Bf 109 redefined air combat while the arrival of jet-powered aircraft like the ME-262 hinted at the future. Air superiority became a decisive factor in battles, shaping strategies and outcomes across the war. But as the conflict ended, a new technological race began. The Cold War ushered in the jet age, where fighters like the MiG-15 and F-86 clashed, and stealth technology emerged with the F-117 Nighthawk, proving invisibility was as powerful as firepower. Aviation, once a fragile dream of flight, turned into a weapon of war, a symbol of power, and now a marvel of technology. From the rickety biplanes of World War I to the supersonic jets of today, the skies have been both a battlefield and a frontier of innovation, each era shaped by war, ambition, and the relentless pursuit of speed. But as we push further, faster, higher, we must ask ourselves, What's next? And at what cost?